ask you about your Thanksgiving. How how'd it go? Um, not too bad. I really, I didn't go back home. I really, honestly, I just hung out with Kendrick. Uh, we ate some huh. food. That was about it. Just him? Yeah. Did you make food or did, did you guys cook together? You could say that. Yeah, it didn't go well though. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How how so? Um, I don't I don't do, I don't have the patience to cook. So <laughs> it came out how it came out really. That's what I would say. Did you make turkey and, and all that? No, 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 no. Just like the sides. I'm really more of a I just like candy yams and macaroni and cheese. That's what okay. I Yeah. And those didn't come out well? Nah, I wouldn't say. Right, it you... wasn't my mom's cooking. <laughs> yeah, not that it is. Um, you should gotta know the D line probably would sound like a Andre cooked a, uh, a good no, turkey. I heard they had a feast actually, and then I didn't hear it till actually uh, we got back from break. And then oh. by the time I asked, food was gone obviously. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that probably didn't last a day, I imagine. Exactly. So. The things are working. How was sure. your week off overall? I mean, how how are you feeling going into this week? Um, honestly, I would say Taylor Green was needed. It just to have that time to get off your feet and just relax. I mean, like you said, a bye week is always good, especially when we have that bye for the first round of the playoffs. And then we were able to just regroup, refocus, and uh, focus on UT Martin this upcoming Saturday. What does it feel like going into a week of playoffs? Is it different at all in comparison to regular season play? Um, I would say the only aspect that's different is the win or go home mentality. But um, I don't know if you guys remember, I preached just the biggest thing with us. I just feel like we should go one and zero every week. That's the ultimate goal, and we just have to approach it with that same level of preparation. Um, don't get outside of what we do. Try to make the moment bigger than what it is. And I feel like we'll be successful. Are you good? Player who started that one and zero mentality and specific, or a coach? Because I, I feel like a lot of you guys always say say that. Um. I think it's kind of been preached since fall camp, just that wanting to get better and really just focusing on each team week to week. Because I feel like once you start looking ahead and you want to start putting all your eggs in one basket, that's when things start to go south, I would say. So I feel like that's just something that we've been preaching as a team all year. But have you been able to, have you guys, has that pain of the, the Cat Grizz loss gone away? Is it still lingering? Um, obviously it hurt, but we, uh, it happened. We were able to come out, have a first round bye, which we're thankful for. And so, like I said, we've really just been more so focused on UT Martin since then. What a, what a, what a sticks out about about them watching film with UT Martin? Um, they're they're a great group. I would say they're a good team. We uh, were able to check out the game against Missouri State. They did some very good things, I would say. And um, we just have to, like I said, our preparation, really focus in on them. And uh, we'll come out successful. Daniel said the running backs kind of stood out to him. Is that who stood out to you most on the offensive side? Um, I don't want to highlight one person on the team because, like I said, they're, they have a good group. Um, obviously, we've been hearing great things about their quarterback. We're not knowing that situation, but overall, they're going to be a, a that's going to be a good game. That's got to be uh, kind of crazy to see a team that beat a good team like Missouri State without the, you know their star quarterback. Uh, uh, yeah, as you saw, but Missouri State had those six turnovers, and right. you can't take care of the ball. It, I mean, it can, you can only do so much with having that many turnovers, and UT Martin just capitalized. But it's weird. You guys, the last three games, have either like won and lost the turnover battle, and then Cat Grizz, you win the turnover battle and, and lose. It, it, it's, I mean, those are obviously not six turnovers, but um, it seems like, at least for you guys, that, is that kind of weird or kind of surprising to you that, that that's happened? Um, it's the game of football, and when you can't take care of the football or, or take the football as a defense, it's going to be a struggle to win any game, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and just uh, and the, with UT Martin, I mean, so preparing for two quarterbacks and not knowing who's going to be, I mean, how, how much of a struggle, I guess, or, or, or a challenge is that? Um, I feel like you just prepare like you normally do. We can't really control who they're going to have out there at quarterback, but I feel like if we prepare like we have uh, throughout the year, uh, whichever one plays, I feel like we would be ready for that situation. It looked like the backup maybe isn't quite as good of a runner. Is that is that fair, at least based on that game? Um. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't really know how to word that, but him, that's number three, I believe. He did a lot of good things as far as just managing the game, uh, taking care of the football, like I said, and he put his team in a great position to come out successful, which he did. Mm -hmm. uh, Got to ask you about your, you took that personal tweet um, after the All Big Sky. Um, I'm guessing that was referring to the honorable mention. Oh, yeah, it was 100%. So what, what can you just describe exactly kind of what you were feeling when you, when you look at those and, and saw that? Um, I first wanted to congratulate everybody on our team that uh, got all conference honors. Um, but I just felt like as far as our defense and our resume, what we put on film for, what was it, 11 weeks, that I feel
feel like there wasn't no reason why all 11 of us shouldn't have got first or a second team honors. And I just feel like our body of work spoke for that. And uh, yeah, I took that one personal. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, so you you sort of, uh, it's got to be a weird kind of bittersweet feeling, I imagine, to be happy for your guys, but then feel like you got slighted a little bit, right? Um, I wouldn't say bittersweet at all because the work we put in, they're uh, more than deserving of everything that they uh, received as far as that goes. But I would say that's over with, and um, I'm just ready for UT Martin. Is it weird to be kind of getting to the, the end now and, and, yeah, you know, one game at a time, but you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna end, you know, pretty soon. Oh uh, yeah, being here since last January and having wanted to get back to football and then we're finally here and it's just, to see it fly by as it did. It's kind of a crazy feeling, but um, I'm just excited to go back out there on my team.